Franklin County farmers stand to get more water for their buck. A series of irrigation canals are piped underground. A local water supplier says the move will save water in the long run. Eyewitness News reporter Luke Jones reports that uh, they are also using the opportunity to develop some renewable energy. It's on these murky banks here in rural Franklin County that life for many of the county's crumps begins. We have four reservoirs and they're interconnected. The Glendale is one of those four. From the reservoir, farmers get their water through a series of irrigation canals. But chances are you won't see them. They're underground. Formerly, it went through open canals and now it goes through pipelines out to the farmers. Lyle Porter is president of the Consolidated Irrigation Company, which serves about 500 farmers. He says with open canals, a lot of the water gets lost along the way. It percolates out into the soil uh, continually. It also evaporates because it's in the open air. Porter says the underground pipes save about 25% of water that would otherwise be lost. It's exactly the type of thinking water officials encourage. One of the most important things we need to do for Idaho's future water use is to make sure we have enough. In Franklin County, they're now piping the water on its path to the reservoir from nearby creeks, but it's not cheap. A little under three and a half million dollars. They've taken out a loan, but it'll take another 20 years to pay back. To make up the difference, they've built this hydropower plant and plan to sell the electricity. All the water goes through a hydro turbine and it generates power. All should be up and running next month, meaning more water to go around. We've got to be smarter how we use water. We've got to be efficient. Now the Idaho Water Board recently approved about $10 million in other projects. They say it's going to help put more water in aquifers along the Snake River Plain. As it stands right now, they say Idaho's running a little short in its water supply. In the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Luke Jones. Luke, thanks.